Welcome back. We have another review for you guys. This is the Logitech MX Mechanical Keyboard. So uh, I recently ordered this for work because I'm going to need something Bluetooth. So I just decided why not go with a brand that I love and it is replacing my Razer keyboard. I'm not too sure what the name on that. What, what, what I don't remember. Either way, um, let's go ahead and get it unboxed here. Well, maybe you guys want to see some of the box. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. It's the MX Mechanical Keyboard, and then here's the back. I have a mouse coming. It's not the MX Master Mouse, but it's actually the Anywhere, I think the 2S mouse, because it's a little bit smaller, and as you can see, I have small hands. So, so something that big isn't going to work out for me that well. So I ordered a bit of a smaller mouse, but it'll it'll come in soon. And uh, well, it looks like we're having some trouble opening the side here. There we go. All right, okay, so right off the bat, okay, we got the easy switch. Okay. I'm going to set up Logi.com. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm going to try to make sure you can. Back towards me? Perfect. I have Jax here directing me and helping me with the camera setup. So, uh, okay. Before we even unwrap the keyboard, we got this nice little box with its signature Logitech Easy Switch USB dongle. Let's make sure we don't lose that. Uh, let's see how we can open this without breaking anything. That's what I'm always afraid of, is when I open something like this, breaking it. So, first is first. We can get rid of that. <laughs> Just basic manual stuff. Nothing I'm sure we can't figure out. I'm sure we're smart enough to figure this stuff out. We've all used a keyboard before. If you're watching this, you've most definitely probably used a keyboard before, unless someone is showing you. Just some basic, I guess, warranty information, that sort of thing. Then we have a Logitech USB-C type cable. So that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, let's... I think that's it for the box. Oh, second. Yeah, that's it out of the box. So, uh, I don't know if any of you want this, but I don't. Um, let's open the keyboard up. Let's see what's inside. Okay, so, oh yeah, that is beautiful. And I got a business card. Now, how nice is that? Create the ultimate setup. It's always nice when they give you something like this. It's just, it's a nice feeling. That tops the whole thing. Let's put that on my own business cards. Okay, so here's the mouse at first glance. Um, you mean the keyboard? Or the keyboard, <laughs> yes. And she's always correcting me. It's Okay, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. I oh, Check that out. It's, a, it's, it's not as clicky as I was hoping it was going to be. Uh, I got the tactile version, but... Um, it's my first, buying my first actual tactile keyboard. My wife bought the last. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm a lifted keyboard kind of guy now, so I would rather... Let's see if I can put that mic closer for you guys. Got some ASMR going on. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's a it's a nice keyboard, though. I like it. I They had the smaller one, and I had to get the full size because... With work, I used the number pad way too much. So, not having a number pad that was matching this would have bothered me. I mean, I know it could have got an external one, but. So far, I have experienced a lot of great things about the Logitech MX Master Mechanical Keyboard. However, there have been a few caveats and things that have turned me off to the device, such as proprietary software that you have to have to utilize all of the full functionalities and hidden features and cool, just interesting utilities about the keyboard and pairing it with the MX Master Mouse. The problem I'm having is the proprietary software won't run and there's not a version for Linux, which I primarily use. Very rarely do I use Mac OS or even Windows for that matter. So that was a bit of a turnoff. I did find an open source alternative called Solar, and that has worked almost 
perfectly fine for me for what I'm trying to do. It's added a lot of great customization to the keyboard, but there are still your limitations to that. I would like to see Logitech release versions for Linux, at least for giving some support, even if it's just an Ubuntu version. I'm sure we can do something with that and put it on other distributions. But other than that, I definitely enjoy the keyboard. Um, if you haven't liked the video already, make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this sort of thing. And if you're interested into ethical hacking, OSINT, and that sort of thing, then you should check out the Cyber Sector 7 podcast. You can always drop a invite or a join into our Discord group. All the links will be in the link tree down below. Thank you, and have a great day, YouTube.